Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a login page in Wix in 2023. Of course, the login page is an essential component for websites or of websites that requires user authentication and access control. In this video, we'll guide you through the steps of creating a login page in Wix. So let's simply get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, Let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you prefer or you have in your PC. Once you open this browser, make sure to go to this URL section. Simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. That, if it's your first time, will take you to the home screen or main screen of Wix website. And of course, for you, you will have to simply go and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, make sure to go and click on Get Started and follow the prompt to sign up or register or create your account it's going to be pretty simple once you created your account or you just logged into your account you'll find yourself on the dashboard and you'll be able to go and create a new site for you if you don't have any site or create a new folder for your site or etc and a lot of other stuff for me i'm just going to go and click on one of one of my sites so we can go and add um uh, or go and edit our site but first, of course, we will have to go and add an app. So to create a login page in Wix, you will need to use the Members app. So you can go to this left side, of course, and scroll down to the bottom and click on Apps. Once you click on Apps here, make sure to go. Uh, of course, that will take you right away to the app on or apps and or App Store and the Wix. Simply, you'll have to go and type here Members, Members uh, app, as you said and hit the enter button as you can see the members apps will be already installed if you have it that will be cool if you don't you can simply go and click on it and install it of course this will comes with list members customize their own accounts gets exclusive access to pages and service manage members activity from any device empower any your members with custom budgets as you can see this this app is available worldwide so you don't have to worry about it and as you can see the language is provided by this this app as you can see a large amount of languages so don't worry about anything and of course this app is featured by wix so don't worry about any getting scammed or anything of course you can even scroll down and see the reviews of other people it have a 3.6 uh, average rating which is decent not bad not good and of course you can even go and look for other apps if you want to like create a login page for you you can go and look for any other app that you want if you want to if you don't want to use this app for me now i'm just going to click on wix here to get into the dashboard and click on the website again that's i want to edit or add the login page into it and of course now i'll have to go and click on edit site so that will open a new tab for you for me with the editor of wix website and of course to create a login page in wix you'll need to use the member app so once you have it of course uh, you, this uh, you will add the member app to your website and of course you can simply set up the members app so once the member app is added go to the slips panel go to add apps and simply you will have to wait a bit of course here uh, for me i already have it so simply i'll have to go to into this manage apps and scroll down as you can see uh, wix members area if I want to use this we can simply go and click on open and let's just uh, go now to pages here on this list menu and as you can see we'll be able to add some pages as, as an example and of course if you have the app already you will normally find uh, your page here if you scroll down and you'll normally find this if you didn't find this just go back into it as an example go to manage apps and this time let's just click on this three options and go as an example to click add again if it's not added just to check if it's added or not and normally it's added so let's just go now to pages as an example in this list panel and as you can see yeah you'll find the sign up and login page so simply go to this login page and click on it and as you can see you can find the default form or custom form you can choose whatever suits you then as you can see you'll find here a lot of options that you can choose from so you can even enable this login option and facebook option if you want your people or the visitors to not get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account so people if, if people log in with their google or their facebook they will not have to go through the steps of logging into their account so or, or in this general as you can see which options shows first new member sign up or existing member login so let's just choose this because a login in always should come first so if you have an account you'll have to log in and choose and if you don't you'll have to go and create your account so you can even go and check for additional sign up and login settings by clicking here 
so you can design whatever you want as an example so let's just wait for the page until it loads and we can of course design the login page however we want so of course wix allows you to design the login page to match your website's branding and you can click on the login page to select this and then click on the design button to appear however you want so as you can see here, uh, who can be a site member? Everyone who signed up or only people I manually approve. So choose what service to you. For the security option, require email confirmation for new members. Make sure to do so because that will help a lot. Uh, do you want to do that after signing up or during signing up? Of course, this will be added to your site members list, but need to confirm their email to log in. But this will be able to sign up or be added to your uh, site members unless your email is confirmed. Of course, both good, but I suggest you to do this uh, after sign up. So after they sign up, they will have to verify their email. You can even use this recap just for sign up and login. So add a recap just to sign up always or just for suspected bots. So make sure to, let, as you can see, this is recommended uh, because people get annoyed by the captcha and sometimes you have to select some Im images that's hard to identify or identify and you can even add this recaptcha as an example to login so make sure to do this for suspected bots as well and you can simply save your settings and once it's saved go to the editor as an example and you will be able to add it as a page as a login page as simple as that you can choose it from the pages and as i said you'll be able to customize it from there and you'll be able to add like a sign up or forget password option and configure access permissions and once you're done of course you'll be able to preview your site and publish it so here as an example if we scroll down we'll not find this yet so we we'll have to simply go and add elements you'll be able to edit whatever you want on your page of course here if we go now to pages as an example so once you go to the list panel, as I said, when you click on pages, you can simply go and add a new page for yourself, add a blank page as an example. And here you can give it a name like a login and sign up as an example, just type it correctly, sign up. And here, of course, you can click on done and you'll be able to go and give it a background and even uh, go and add this sign up and login page on it and you will be good to go. And of course, you'll be, as I said, to customize this, add the background for yourself, change color, change fonts, and you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff other than that. So if you are done, you can simply, as I said, preview everything and publish it into your domain name and you'll be good to go again. So if you reach this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully created the login page in Wix and 23. And of course, the login page is crucial element for a website that requires user authentication and access control. So if you like this video make sure to go or if you found this video helpful make sure to go down below and leave a like down and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this and we hope it was helpful for you so if you have any further questions feel free to explore wix support resources or join their community for assistance so thanks for watching this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video